George, I've been at dozens of protests in Amman, in Beirut, in Cairo, even in Benghazi, and even here in Toronto. And although they're all very, very different, I picked up many tips that I think might be useful to you the next time you go to a protest. Do dress right. If you find yourself at a protest, make sure you're wearing comfortable clothing and comfortable shoes. As for women, under no circumstances should you be wearing heels. Yes, I've seen people do it, and when people start running for cover, it's not pretty. Don't run. If there's a stampede, do not run with the crowd like I once did in Tahrir Square. What happened to me is that I got stuck between the crowd and the wall, and I had to jump over the wall into a construction site. And then I had to argue with gun-toting soldiers at the American Embassy to let me pass through to get back to my hotel. Not fun. Do pack smart. Do bring some supplies, maybe some hand wipes, a first aid kit, some food, a scarf, and maybe even a face mask. You definitely want to bring that last one if you're at a protest just about anywhere in the Middle East. Don't rely on your cell phone. If you're planning to be at a huge protest, I mean hundreds of thousands huge, don't expect your cell phone to work. So if you're planning to meet friends, do agree on a meeting spot beforehand. Trust me, you don't want to be at one of those protests alone. Even among thousands of people, a protest can be a lonely place. Do use the loop. Do yourself a favor and visit the facilities before you get into the middle of that crowd. There are no bathroom breaks when you're trying to change the world.